hello everyone so we are going to continue with display options today so here now we can actually change the display resolution into let's say full screen and let me change the uh, FPS limit to 30 so no no at the moment it is 30 let me change it to 60 and apply and you can see FPS limit is 60 as you can see here FPS is limited to 60 and the resolution is changed and also display window mode is also changed to full screen as you just saw so let me change this to a smaller screen again just to preview and put windowed mode and change this to 120 and apply so as you can see here now these options are working so this is what we are going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support okay so this is what we have at the moment when i go to the settings i have graphics option and also we worked on these uh, options for uh, display options display resolution window mode and fps limits these three things so but still we haven't implemented apply or reset to default uh, buttons for display resolutions so display options so this is what i am going to work on today so let me first here is my widget that has the display options also let me open my options panel widget options this is where we have implemented these buttons basically so let's first implement apply option right so let me select the apply button and this is the apply button and so there what we apply is we get the active option panel and execute this apply function so this is how we get the active option panel it's based on this selected option category so when we have selected the display option it will return display option as the reference and in the display option apply function will be executed for the graphics we have implemented apply function like this using this bpi options panel and we have uh, this comes from this bpi options panel blueprint interface this event comes from there and here in the display option also we can implement the same bpi options panel interface then after we doing that we can implement apply event like this okay so now what we have to do is we have to get the values so from each of these fps limit resolution and window mode and we have to apply it right first in order to do that we need to get game user settings we can do it like this and then uh, get a reference we can set screen resolution mm, that's the first part then we can implement what's the next one set fps sorry window mode set window mode set full screen mode not window mode set full screen mode right then the other option is frame rate limit set frame rate limit okay 
so we so now we need to get relevant values for each of these options okay let's first start with the resolution and here in the initialization part we have a separate function to initialize resolutions so we have this is the way we were implement initialize the resolutions we get supported full screen resolutions as an array and we get the now we have the index uh, that's to define current mm, resolution level so yeah here we have uh, by running a for each loop uh, uh, we get the x value and y value for each resolution supported by the display and add it to an array of resolutions it's a text array so that's basically what we do there so therefore from the resolution window what we need is selected index get selected level now fro from this selected level we can actually find out what is the resolution so let me collapse this part again let's collapse it to a function mm. apply resolution So here we are to get is a reference to game user settings um, but it's not necessary to get that so let me remove that and let's get game user settings inside the function so we can simplify this function from this we can get supported sorry what's the function we used get supported full screen resolutions we can get this then also from the resolution uh, option line we can get selected oh we already have that get the selected level then we can get a reference from this supported full screen resolutions using this index so this will be the selected uh, resolution through the options right mm, yeah and that's it for setting up the resolution then also I think we need to call mm, mm, apply resolution settings in order to update the values okay that's the first part and the next part is setting up the full screen mode mm, yeah you know what we can completely get rid of this right setting up full screen mode let's promote this part also to a function let's call it apply window mode okay get game user settings right now how do we get the selected full screen mode so from the window mode we can get
selected level uh, then for this full screen mod let's quickly check how did we initialize window mode okay ah right we have this for each window mode mm, e window mode it's there is an enumeration called e window mode right let's do a select here okay so how many window modes we usually have Uh, here we have a for each loop. I think we should use the same approach for each e window for each e window mode. Okay, let's run it. Oh wait, no, we can't use it. switch on a e window mode oh actually we have only three levels either full screen or windowed full screen or windowed so we need only one more value here first one is full screen second one is windowed full screen third one is windowed right we don't need this and yeah what else oh, set frame rate limit let's also um, collapse this store function apply frame rate limit let's call it fps limit because we use any fps limit so it's consistent here's the target we need get game user settings right new limit how do we get it well, in any FPS limit, we have 30, 60, 120, and unlimited. So here, let's get selected uh, level, and let's again do the selection. Select float. Oh wait, not using a boolean. wait just to select with the integer right first one is 30 then 60 then 120 other one is unlimited but let's say 500 because I'm not sure how to give a unlimited here all right then after everything we have to run save settings get game user settings and save settings finally and we forgot one more thing i think we need to call apply settings also right now let's test it this but uh, uh we might need to use the standalone game in order to test the resolutions otherwise I am not sure if this would work 
right okay now let's go to display settings it's a windowed full screen let's try full screen right so actually we don't really need the we had this appliers resolution settings this is not before here so i removed it because we don't need it here we need only this apply settings option so this will apply and also save the settings into the permanent storage and make sure that disable this tick boolean here otherwise it doesn't work properly so right so here is the final and output here we have the settings and if we go to the default uh, display settings let me change this to 120 and full screen and also let me enable stat fps so that we can see fps here and let's change it to 30 and apply right now you can see the fps is limited to 30 and resolution is changed to 1080 uh, let me change this back to a lower resolution and apply and see it is working okay everything is working all right so we can stop this episode right here episode right here so as always project files will be available for the download through patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club and see you in another episode goodbye